Hello everyone, in this lecture we will study about basic frequency composition. Frequency composition. As we have already seen, open circuit contains many poles, and for this reason, open must usually be condensated. Uh, that is, their open loop transfer function must be modified so that the closed loop circuit is stable and the term time response is well behaved. Okay, so we have already seen that the stability, the one statement for this particular heading is that the stability can only be achieved by minimizing the overall phase shift, thus pushing the phase crossover out. Okay, so the, the, what is the need for compensation? It arises because the beta h, the magnitude beta h does not drop to unity well before phase angle beta h reaches minus unity degree. So thus, we can achieve the stability by minimizing the overall phase shift and pushing the phase crossover out. Okay, we need to push the phase crossover out, which is only be possible by minimizing the overall phase shift. Okay, the, this approach requires that we attempt to minimize the number of poles in the signal path by proper design. And we have already seen that each additional stage contributes at least one pole. This means that the number of stages must be minimized, a remedy that yield low voltage gain and limited output swing. Okay, so we need to minimize the number of poles in the signal path by a proper design. Okay, as we need to minimize the phase shift. While the second approach is that we can achieve stability by dropping the gain, thereby pushing the gain crossover in. Okay, so there are two approaches. First is to move the phase crossover out, or second approach is to move the gain crossover in and this approach retains the low frequency gain and the output spring but it reduces the bandwidth by forcing the gain to fall at lower frequency. If we force to move our gain crossover frequency inside so it will reduce the bandwidth okay to fall at lower frequency. So we must try to design an op-amp to minimize the number of poles while meeting the other requirements. So we have applied this concept to the telescopic cast board open. Okay, in this CMOS current mirror perform differential to single end conversion and first we identify the number of poles in the signal path. This path 1 contains a high frequency pole first at the frequency of M3, a mirror pole at the node A and another high frequency pole as the source of M7. Okay, whereas part 2, this part 2 contains a high frequency pole at the source of M4 and the two parts share pole at the output. Okay, the output pole that is WP out upon 1 upon R out CL, this particular output pole is usually close to the origin and it is also called as dominant pole. Okay, WP out usually set the open loop CTD bandwidth. This particular output pole is the dominant pole and it sets the open loop CTD bandwidth. While the first non-dominant pole is the closest pole to the origin. Okay, this is the first pole WP out and the second non-dominant pole is WPA which arises from at node A. This is because the total constant at this particular node A is roughly equals to PA is roughly at this particular node is equals to CGS5 is CGS5 plus CGS6 this one plus CGD5 CGD5 plus twice of 
टू जी डी सिक्स ओके देन प्लस टी डी डी थ्री इस वर्ड टी जी डी डी थ्री जी डी थ्री ओके सो जी डी टोटल कैपिटल्स विच इज ऑब्जर्व एट यू नोड टू एंड इट्स टिपिकली क्वाइट लॉट लार्जर देन एट नोड एक्स वाई एंड एन एंड इट्स लॉट इन द एस्टेंस ऑफ एम फाइव Approximately equals to one upon g n five is also relatively large. Okay, we know n and x. We know n and x. We know n and x. See that we equal small signal resistance to the ground. Okay, this node x and this node n. But node n suffers. Much more capacitive. To know n, since we can use the next non-dominant pair. Okay, so the first is the most dominant is W P A. Then second is the node A, and then second and third is the uh, non-dominant pair at node n. Okay, the pole at node x and y, x and y are nearly equal, and they count as one pair rather than two. The fourth one is the pole at node x or y, that is minus gn square upon g. Okay, so now constructing the magnitude and phase plot. Magnitude and phase plot for beta x using beta equals to one. Such characteristic indicate that the mirror pole, typically the mirror pole, this mirror pole limits its Phase contribution at lower frequency than that of other non-dominant pairs. Okay, so the main pole is the WPA, which typically limits the phase margin because its phase contribution occurs at lower frequency than that of other non-dominant pairs. Okay, so it also contains a zero as well, which is located at twelve of WPA, and the zero. Also impacts both the magnitude as well as the phase character. Okay, thank you.